All right, hello, full and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Terran Micro Shuttle and Rescue Vehicle mod, which was originally made by a small group of modders going by Fruit Bat Industries. It's now been resurrected, though, by Zero Kerbal. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a really cool little micro shuttle for you to use. And I really have enjoyed enjoyed my time with this thing so far. It's a pretty cool little craft. Though, I've got some caveats to get through here before we get started in the Space Plane Hangar. First and foremost, despite this one being released on the forums in the add-on release section, it is still a very much a work in progress. So there are some buggy things here and there, and it's actually recommended on the forum post, a few posts down, that perhaps you don't put this in your main save file. I personally have been using it on one of my more disposable saves, and it has been a real fun one to play with, so I can't wait to see what it does have all to it once it does uh, finish with a full 1.0 release, but currently we're in 0.7, so a little bit ways off. Second, we're still in version 1.7.3, as that's what this is currently made for, which is quite the feat, considering this is a quite old mod at this point that Zero Kerbal is resurrecting. Now, there is a 1.8.1 .1 update coming soon, but personally, I have tested this in the latest version of Kerbal Space Program and really didn't have any issues with it. A few more minor bugs, but nothing too bad. But currently, it is built for 1.7.3 as of this recording. So let's uh, jump into the space plant hangar with all that out of the way and have a look at the parts we do get. A little bit longer of an intro than typical, but let's grab a one Mark I uh, cockpit for size comparison's sake today and then use our mod filter just leaving on Fruit Bat Industries, where we'll take a look at our first part here and, of course, the main body of this little shuttle, and that is the Terran Fuselage. And now this is, of course, a command pod with a minimum of one crew member to operate with a max capacity of three. Now it does have a built-in data transmitter, RCS, SAS, reaction wheel, a resource converter converting monopropellant to electric charge, and it does hold electric charge at a rate of 150 and monopropellant of 125. And being a shuttle is also a lifting surface. So yeah, we've got a whole lot of things packed into this rather tiny little package, as you can see here. It's just this cool, stout, little, kind of teardrop-shaped shuttle, and I love it. And the fact that it fits three people into this tiny little thing, I love even more. And especially considering all the other things that are packed in here. It's a pretty fun and impressive little command pod. I do really like it. And of course, it being stock alike, I do quite enjoy. It's got a lot of fun details since it is sort of meant to be more of a rescue vehicle. It does have that stamped on the side. You've got the different RCS ports all along there. Another little vent right there. And overall, just a cool little shuttle body. Such a tiny, tiny little micro shuttle. But it is, of course, missing a few things, like perhaps wings and such, but we'll get to those in a moment. Now, the next part that we do have is down in the engines category, and that is the O-01 Mini Puff Monopropellant Fuel Engine. Now, this is a scale model version of the uh, basic puff monopropellant engine. Uh, this one will produce, though, 4.5 kilonewtons of a thrust with an ISP of 270 in vacuum. And, of course, using monopropellant and does have a gimbling range of a one degree. And if we pop that thing on there, you can see it is just a tiny, tiny little monopropellant engine, perfect for giving this thing a little bit of extra oomph on your way to docking at a space station, ship, what have you. Good times indeed there. Now, after that, if we actually do sort of rearrange this a bit, there we go, that'll work perfectly. You can see, I did, should have pointed this out before, the back end of the uh, micro shuttle here is a fairly flat bit, and that's because it's meant to be used with something down here in coupling, and that is 
the Terran docking collar. Now this is a docking node for your docking needs and also does have a couple of lights built in to illuminate your potential docking target. So always good to have. And if we pop that on, you can see it fits quite nicely onto the back end of our micro shuttle here, giving it a bit less of a uh, just tragically flat rear. And always a fun to have, and plus with the docking, very useful. And does also mean that it kind of helps it connect a bit better to, say, uh, any rockets you're launching it with from the launch pad. Granted, that being said, that could be said even without it, because it is a circular back end. But, I don't know, just like to look at that more. It's fun. Now, after that, the next two parts that we do have are down here in the aerodynamics category, where we have two parts that are really the same, and those are, of course, the Terran winglet port. Or, well, the port and starboard. That's what they are both called, the two different parts, but no matter which one you grab, you'll need both. You will get, of course, control surfaces from them, as well as built-in RCS. They do hold one of the landing gears in each of the wings, and it does hold a small monopropellant tank of 10 for you to power up those RCS with. And so yes, as I kind of poorly said a moment ago, they do come in the uh, port and starboard sides. So if we do just sort of pop that one on there and pop that one on there, wonderful. We have our lovely little micro shuttle coming together quite nicely. Now with some landing gear and control surfaces, always good. Now the final part that we do have for this mod is down in the ground category, and that is the Terran Nose Gear. Now it is a landing gear, so it's a wheel. And really, that's all there is to it, but it's a fun, nice little one that does, in fact, go on the attachment point I'm currently using to attach this whole thing to our Mark I cockpit, so there's that. But yes, it just does attach onto uh, that point uh, right there at the bottom, that attachment node, and you'll have your third and final landing gear for your little micro shuttle. And all in all, it's a pretty cool little thing. Let's actually load up a fully made one that I have right here for you to take a look at without it uh, being attached to a Mark I cockpit there. And yeah, it's just a nice little shuttle. I forgot to put on the docking node. Oh well, the one in orbit that I have should have it. Oh boy, I hope I didn't forget that. <laughs> but yes, it's just a fun little shuttle. I love this thing. I've personally been using it a lot less for rescue so far in my time playing with it, and a lot more for uh, orbital transfers. Like, I'll use it to move crew around between a space station and a ship that I have in orbit prepared to go out on a mission. But it is perfectly fine for rescue missions. Of course, don't forget you'll need at least one Kerbal on board for you to then rescue two others, which is always nice. And all in all, it's just a fun little thing. So let's go over to the tracking station and have a look at the one that I do currently have in orbit, where I should mention, I should have mentioned this when we were playing with the wheels, but I completely forgot, there is actually another mod requirement for this thing. We uh, do, of course, have the working wheels in both the winglets and that front nose piece right here, nose gear, and they require fire spitter for you to put in and why it just flipped around my shuttle here I don't understand why but that was weird well yes it does require fire spitter for the gears to properly go in and out and hmm I'm encountering a weird glitch I haven't seen before yet with this opening and closing the landing gear is causing it to rotate wildly that's interesting this is the first time I've encountered this. Just my luck that it's happening while making a video. Let's see if it does that when I actually have it on the pro grade thing there. Yes, it still did. All right, cool, cool, that's new. <laughs> Well, besides the uh, new oddity that I've found with the landing gear, it's quite a fun little thing. And like I said, personally, I've been using this more for, like, orbital crew transfers. So for me, it's not as big of a deal. I forgot to uh, 
disconnect that decoupler earlier from when I launched into space. And yeah, it's overall just a very fun little micro shuttle. And the only other, I wouldn't say complaint, but just small bug that I've noticed with it is this panel up on the roof. Uh, doesn't seem to reflect light correctly like the rest of the ship does. You can see here it's still entirely dark while the other bits are starting to lighten up. And uh, yeah, that's just a kind of one little oddity with this, but really hasn't killed it for me. It's still a very fun and useful shuttle to play around with that I've really been enjoying my time with. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next win. Hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.